Good morning from our beautiful Airbnb in Essaouira, Morocco. Marrakesh didn't turn out exactly as we expected. Marrakesh is exhilarating and the vast majority of people we met were lovely. However, in the Medina where we were staying, it seemed like it was like a constant hustle. A lot of people who were approaching us seemed to have some kind of ulterior motive. They kept trying to lead us to the tannery. Or to the Berber market. They were very excited to show us because it only happens once a year. And it was the same story, the same once in a year event every single day. If you do end up following them, once you get there, you're gonna owe them money. Or be pressured to go into their friend's shop to buy something that you don't need. We really wanted to be able to show you a lot more Marrakesh. Every time we pulled out the camera, somebody came running up to us saying that we owed them money uh, because we're filming them or we're filming their shop or we're filming their home. Even if we weren't filming them. On top of all that, Jeff wasn't feeling 100%. I caught a stomach bug somewhere and ended up spending most of my time in the Riyadh trying to recuperate. On the road here to Esuera, uh, we stopped the taxi driver when we saw these goats uh, standing in a tree. Uh, so there's this thing in this area here where uh, during a part, certain part of the year, goats will actually climb up into the trees on their own to eat the argan nut. This was not the case here. What we saw was completely staged for tourists. He had little platforms that he had built in the tree and put the goats up in there so tourists could come by and take some pictures and he could make himself a few dollars. We had read that some people will actually tie these poor goats up in those trees. Uh, this was not the case here. Uh, the guy seemed really sweet. He seemed to really care about his goats. Like He seemed to really love them. Uh, so we were really happy to just give him a couple dollars to take some photos of the goats. We fed the goats and he also let me hold these really cute baby goats. So we got to Esuera a few days ago. We've mostly been catching up on work since we got here. Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Angela. And for some reason, we call ourselves Pure Detour. Catchy, right? In the summer of 2021, we quit our jobs, left Canada, and sold everything we own to travel the world full time. Right now, we're spending a month on the windy Atlantic coast of Morocco in a city called Esuera. So today we are going to go explore a bit more of the town. Let's go! Trying to make our way to check out the city walls here in Esauera. Um the whole of Morocco to us so far has been a ton of narrow alleys that don't really lead in the way we want to go. Uh, this time they're actually blocked off by construction, so we're going to keep looking. Walk two minutes around the corner, we found the walls. Our taxi driver told us that Esauera is called the Windy City, kind of uh, analogous to Chicago in the United States. Yep. Uh, we just got to the top of these walls and behind us you can see the ocean is so rough and wild and amazing looking. Huge um, waves. Yeah, huge waves. So we see why this place is a draw for kite surfers and surfers and whatnot. I uh, can't wait to get you a closer look at the, the water there because <laughs> it's so cool. I'm not really sure if I know what she's talking about anyway. It's too cold to get in the water, even if it isn't that wavy and windy. Up here on top of the city walls, A, you get an amazing view of like, the beach and how like, rough it is out there. Uh, there are cannons like lining each little, what do you call those, little cutouts in the wall. 
What's the name of that? I have no idea. Tons of cannons and it's really broad and wide up here. It's pretty cool. Nice place to walk. Every place we get to, we try and kind of find a plan out like a, a route for our just like quiet, relaxing morning walk. I think that this may figure into this city. I'm pretty sure this is it. Nice, right? As you come, you're leaving the walls here, you start walking through, you see all the little shops set up. Beautiful carvings, beautiful little knickknacks they have. And we and Angela were just talking here. You know, if we still had a house, we would probably be racking up on stuff right now to take back with us. We just passed this like big wide open square and behind us I don't know what they do back there I don't know what that's about but we're venturing this way and I'm not sure why simply because it looks like there are so many seagulls like we're really pressing our luck we're gonna get pooped on We're just walking uh, past the main fish market back there, or one of the fish markets back there, and once again, the seagulls are so thick above us, you can literally <laughs> hear their poop hitting the ground <laughs> around you, so I'm starting to feel a little bit shell-shocked. Uh, also, the smell of the fish and the gutting of the fish, like, it's really overwhelming. Uh, it's pretty strong. Yeah. So as you guys can probably tell, I am in dire need of a haircut. I intentionally waited until we got here because I want to try the Moroccan haircuts. As soon as you leave the main Medina area and the city walls area, you come out here and there's this beach and it is wide and it is long. But today isn't about the beach for us. We'll go check that out another day. So wandering through the Medina here, and even when we're on streets that are very clearly oriented to tourists, and you can tell because there's little Italian pizzerias and Thai food restaurants, little coffee shops and whatnot, even in these spots that are really heavily oriented to tourists, like we are not being shouted out to every two minutes, come into my shop, come do this, come do that. Um, it's really quiet, everyone is super polite and respectful, and we're really kind of enjoying the vibe here. Back inside these quaint, cute little Medina alleys, a lot of it is white and blue, like what you would picture uh, in Greece, like you see a lot of pictures of Greece. Super cute, we're gonna wander around and see uh, if we can't find ourselves a snack. my first time trying avocado juice and it's obviously like an avocado super creamy but they, they must be putting something else in there because it has like this sweetness to it I really like it I'll be having more of these that wraps up our little intro here to Essaouira. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit oriented, starting to get uh, a feel for the vibe of the town, and I'm really looking forward to uh, spending the whole month here. And we can't wait to show you guys more of it, so be sure to like and subscribe to see what happens next. Bye!